Okay, so today we're just going to take a quick look at the Campero to Stumps desktop client. I'm going to combine this with a question that came up in a comment on the last video about importing patches and IRs. And all that would get done through the client. So we'll get into that today as well. So as you can see here, we've got our Stomp, got our USB cable connecting to the computer. As you can see here, we've got our desktop client up. And it's actually very similar to what you get through the device itself. Um, you can see here, you can scroll through your patches on the left menu here. Across the top, you can rename the patch, save it. You can import and export. We'll get to that in a little bit. There's your templates. So this is your parallel split serial. You can also save a template. So if you want to create your own template, you can save it and you can keep it selected. And then here is your main editing window. You've got all your devices. It looks the same as it does on the device. You do get a little extra information like here when you're clicking on these pedals or an amp, you get a little image of it. So it kind of helps you understand like what the device is more so than the name. Um, if you want to turn a device on and off, you would click the top of the box. If you just want to select it, you would click kind of the lower part. So, for example, if I have this patch, which is my double clean patch, if I want to turn on this piece of drive, I just up. easy to use. Um, I hope the uh, Quad Cortex desktop client, when it eventually comes out, hint, hint, DSP, get that out, please. I hope it's as easy to use as this. Um, you can see here, you can adjust these by the knobs. You can also uh, click the number and type in a number here. 80. You can do that. So if you want to Import an IR, say what you would do here is I would go here, I would say I'm on an IR, and on the IR screen, you can just import IR file here. I would click that, and then I would just go find where my IR files are. And let's say I want to bring in this vendor 2x12. Let's say I want to bring them all in. You can highlight them all, hit open, and you come back here. You can click on each one, and or you can say, I want to select all. You can import them. And then you choose where you want them to go. So I'm going to put them in these user bank. And it'll give you a count here as to how many files you've done. So you've got a whole batch of them. You can just keep going to these things. 14, which is how many I'm importing. There, I've imported them all. I'll hit import. Just takes a second here. And now, first I'll go back to my cab. I'm going to turn it off. Go to the IR. And I'm going to pick which IR I want. And so I'm going to go to user IR. And I'm going to pick this vendor 2x12. And let's check that out. Let's try the tune king one. I like the fender a lot better. Look at this high one. No, I think I like the fender the best. So then what we would do, we would go up here, we would just hit save, and say, what do you want to save? So yes, if you want to replace it, I'll save OK. And now it's saved. So one thing I will also say that when you're using the clients, 
it's best to just stick with just using the client. Because if you start using the device and the client at the same time, you'll get a lot of, you know, pausing the sync. So for instance, if I go over here and I turn off the drive via the stomp pedal, you can see what happens to the client. It goes, oh, something changed on the device and I have to sync it. And you start getting all these windows to sync up with the device. So my recommendation is when you have the desktop client up, only use the desktop client. Don't use both at the same time because it can get annoying. So let's try to export this patch. So I'm going to put it back to the cab. So I go to export, export patch, I hit OK. It asks me where I want to put it. I'm just going to stick it on my desktop. It's telling me that through party IR files won't be exported. It's fine. And then that file is on my desktop. If I went to import it, so if I went to, say, an empty slot, and I went to import, import I would go, there's my file. Okay, import that in. Because it's got three-party IR files. But there's my patch. Same as the other one. Now you noticed, this is something the Quad Cortex won't let you do. It's got the same name. So obviously the, the Ampero is not fussy about having patches with the same name, which I don't know whether I like that or not, honestly. It's sometimes it's kind of annoying to, to not be able to name it the same thing, but it's, it could also get confusing. So anyway, that's a quick run through of the desktop client for the Ampero. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments and I'll either answer them in the, in the comments or do another video. So the next thing I'm going to dig into is trying to run parallel amps on the stomp and we'll see how that turns out. So look for that video in a little while.